What's up? I'm Sarah. Eliav. Today we're going to talk about a really underrated feature of Drift that a lot of our customers aren't using to its full extent that Eliav is actually, we call him the keyword master. So we're talking about keywords. So a keyword in Drift is anything that a prospect can write into the chatbot that can then give a specific answer based on that keyword. So when you think about keywords, they're broken into three different categories, yep. right? You've got similar keywords. Yeah, so that uses a little bit of natural language processing. So if I wanted to do something like similar to hi, it would recognize other greetings like hey, hello. The second one <laughs> is gonna be contains. Mm -hmm. So it contains means that it contains that word. Now here's where it gets really fun and awkward sometimes. <laughs> uh, it's when you create a, a keyword like cat, right? <laughs> and then someone says something about a category and it gives an answer about an animal instead of about whatever you're looking for. Right. So depending on how many keywords you have, you wanna make sure that contains is really for a specific keyword you want it to contain. So you have similar, that's gonna give other similar keywords. Contains means it has this in the actual pure graph that they write you. And then there's equals, which looks for that exact phrase or word only. The response is like something that is a one word, like very to the point sort of response. You can use that equals keyword group to then understand like they said the right thing or ooh, it looks like you actually did it in the wrong format. Can we try that again? So to give you an example, the way that a weird word is time. Mm -hmm. Right now, this is the most most complicated. I'm pretty sure of all keywords yeah, from probably. my <laughs> from my experience. Someone can say, "What time should we meet you? Mm -hmm. How far ahead of time should we book?" Mm -hmm. right. Those are all different questions. So you're, we use a lot of exact keywords in that or exact phrases in mm -hmm. that sense because we need to give it a specific answer. So it, it's looking at those like ten most common questions you get and picking out, "Can I have our bot answer that?" so the live person doesn't spend time doing that. Yeah, start using keywords. You don't have to start big. You don't have to have 2,000. Start small. <laughs> uh, let us know how it goes. 